Several Latin American and Caribbean leaders who addressed the United Nations General Assembly this week spoke of the need to end poverty in their countries. In one part of the Caribbean, the Dominican Republic, the economy has been booming, growing about 5% each year. Joining me now is Frank Ranieri, president of Grupo Punta Cana. Nice to see you here in New York. It's my pleasure to be here to share with your uh, uh, TV viewers about the Dominican Republic tourism, and of course, the baseball players of the Dominican <laughs> Republic, which yes. are so important over here in the Especially United States. Especially this time of year. <laughs> well, tourism has been booming in the DR, and it's been a great success story. And you're trying to actually move that success to the border region of the DR and Haiti. There's a council that's formed to try to increase economic development. And what's interesting is you're looking beyond tourism. So what sort of development are you looking now to bring to that area? No doubt about it. The Dominican Republic has been growing at over 5% for the last 10 years. Incidentally, this year we think will be about 7%. Mm. So it's really growing very well. Unfortunately, our next door neighbors are not growing at the same pace. So we think, we believe the Dominicans uh, uh, entrepreneurs that we have to help Haiti and help the border areas develop so more Haitians can get better jobs and improve their standard of conditions. Uh, and, and at the same time helping the Dominican Republic. So we're looking at projects on the border and in Haiti. In my case, we're working uh, to develop a project like Punta Cana at Cote de Fer in the southern part of Haiti uh, where we talking about doing a big project. We've been working on it for the last five years. And we hope that soon we will be able to start firmly the development of the Côte de Fer area. Also, we're looking at free zones in the border. And part being done in Haiti, the other part being doing, done in the Dominican Republic. So we do be developing free zones, uh, export free zones, where we produce from baseball gloves, of course. That baseball theme again. <laughs> <laughs> to a lot of other things, and we export to countries, especially to the United States. So, so let me just jump in, because you're looking to attract two billion in investments for the region. Now, where is that money coming from? Is it coming from companies like yours? Are you seeking outside investors? Of course, <clears throat> we don't have that capital. Dominican Republic is, is doing well but we're not, you know, You're a small country. <laughs> uh, we still have a lot of things to do in my country because don't forget, we're Dominicans. We got to develop our country, but we also are investing in Haiti. So the idea is that we can sell to the, especially American investors, the idea that yes, you can do things in the border towns where it's secure, where you can do a good investment, good returns and help Haiti and the Dominican Republic will also benefit from it. And like I said, industrial parks, tourism, uh, agricultural projects are some of the uh, ideas or projects we have in, uh, uh, in the process of being started or that we're studying and uh, are available for investors, foreign investors especially. So it does stand out as really a shining star in the Caribbean in terms of the growth and the ambitions. There is still, even with the growth in the DR and certainly in Haiti, which perhaps has kept tourism back, poverty is still an issue. The World Bank pointing out that still needs to be addressed. When will the economic successes and that growth um, translate down for a greater reduction in poverty, do you think? I, it started already. You have, for example, in Haiti, an area that was began uh, three years ago where uh, in Caracol, where you have over 14,000 people working. Those 14,000 people didn't have jobs before. I always say that in, instead of giving a donation to a country, help them develop by getting them a jo decent job. Donations just are one-time shot. They don't solve the problem of people. Uh, you go back in the Bible and it says, don't give them the fish, <laughs> teach them how to fish. Yep. So that's what we're trying to do. And of course, we know the mentality of the Haitians, so it's much easier for us to, do, to beat the, uh, the interconnection between 
the world investors, and the Haitians. Well, good luck with the initiative. It's been great talk talking to you. Frank Ranieri, thanks so much. My pleasure to be here. I'm Rhonda Schapler for The Street.